Happy Halloween! Today's the day three and today's lunch is rigatoni bolognese. <laughs> Donuts will be sold in the cafeteria during break to help support the junior class. Daylight savings is coming up on November 5th. Make sure to put your clocks backwards. And next week, there is a mid-quarter announcement for grades. In two weeks, the campus ministry trip to NCYC is happening in Indianapolis. And Thanksgiving break is coming up on the 18th to the 26th. This week in national news, the topic of an unfair 2016 presidential election is back. Moving on, doctor's offices around the world are now incorporating integrated webcam video visits with their patients. This will save not only money, but the patient's time as well. Also, national parks across the country are now raising their fee to $70, as they are not receiving appropriate funding to fight the constant battle against pollution. That's all for your national news. Stranger Things returned to Netflix for a second season after a large success with the first. This second season is being praised by critics and has a 95% score on Rotten Tomatoes. For some unfortunate news, movie theater prices are expected to increase soon. Regal Cinemas is planning to try out a new surge pricing system. When attendance to a movie is low, prices will be lower, and prices will be greatly increased during the peak viewing times of any given movie. This is similar to how Uber prices their rides, depending on traffic, time of day, and availability. So while we may have decreased prices for bad movies or ones way past the release date, new movies and those with high ratings will be accompanied by high ticket prices. A CNN report states that the iPhone X's infrared dot projector camera was having some supply issues and also stated that Apple has made about 2 to 3 million devices for launch day. This Friday, Apple will be opening their doors at 8 a.m. for people camping outside to get one. That's all for your tech report. Now for your tech report. On October 27th, Apple sold out of the new iPhone X in a matter of minutes. If you are looking to get the iPhone X, the wait time is 5 to 6 weeks on shipping. Be sure to follow us on social media at BMCHS Report and check out our website, stormreport.bmchs.com, for even more news. And that's all for today, Canes. Happy Halloween, and we'll see you next week. Where's Jackie? <laughs>